What is up, handsome gamers? Relvik here. Hope you all have a really good day, and welcome to another Nidalee Jungle commentary preseason eight. Um, I didn't think I was going to make another video today because I already made two of them, and uh, yeah, but I saw Morgana Jungle and Zed support, and I thought this could be interesting. Um, I don't actually think this is like a bad matchup. I think Morgana Jungle is actually pretty good. I was seeing a, I was seeing it a lot in the beginning of the preseason. Um, with like the new runes, I saw a lot of people playing Morgana Jungle, and then it sort of became out of meta. People stopped playing it for some reason, and now I I don't know. It's been a while, but I guess this is one of them. And this is Low Diamond again. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, I think Zed support is more troll than Morgana Jungle. That is just that's weird. Let's get it going. They'll invade probably. Okay. Um. Yeah, so Morgana Jungle, again, like I said, not a bad pick. It's actually pretty good. It works well because Morgana got buffed really hard um, in the beginning of the preseason with her passive. She heals really, really well in the jungle. She can actually clear the jungle quite well. Um, she's hard to gank for me as Nidalee because she has her black shield and she can just um, she can just Q me and then... And, oh, Jesus. Oh, he started with W then. That's interesting. Whee! Okay, hello. No one expected that comp. Same. Wait, what do I have? All chat. Okay. I never play with all chat. This is under, just a recommendation I have for you guys. Like, I will aim mid bot early. Um, I'll probably be counter jungling early, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be ganking much. Maybe, maybe I gank bot. We'll see. Yeah, I usually always remove all chat or uh, any any account that I only play ranked on. I will not put the, the, the all chat. I will only use all chat if I'm playing normals with my friends or whatever, but I really, really, really recommend that you guys take it off. There's a lot of toxic stuff happening in all chat. In almost every game I've played, I've not seen any single, you know, good reason to have all chat, especially if you're playing ranked, especially if you're giving it giving it all you've got like if you really want to carry it's just a distraction it really is um so one less distraction to worry about is, is really just a good way of of uh of climbing you know of getting the highest deal that you can in season eight especially with nidalee um you're going to be getting some uh, some comments from the enemy team usually because people don't like that champ so yeah just oh my goodness okay we're going to skip that that was a sign from the devil do not do the wolves missed it yeah, I still miss my, my spears here and there. Morgana could be here. I don't think so, but we'll see. No, okay. Yeah, I think she needs a leash for her first buff. Or, oh, she probably did blue first because she can't clear the jungle unless she starts blue. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do red. And then we're going to go back to ho towards her red because I think she's probably going to be at her red now. That's my guess. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is just sort of a, of a hunch that I have. I think that she went blue into uh, raptors and red and so i'm thinking i might meet her at her red and i should be able to take her on 1v1 we'll see let's see let's ward that okay she did it wait so she did did she start red okay that's interesting then oh fucking a dude So just putting some free damage on that mid, which is going to help ours. Morgana could be here. Yeah, there she is. Okay. So she actually did not do what I thought she did. She definitely went red first, and then she went for blue, which is surprising because I thought she wouldn't have not have enough mana to do the clear if she didn't have her blue first um because i remember watching like a video on how to play morgana jungle and then it was like you have to start blue first but i don't know i guess i was wrong okay he just warded mid's really hard to gank because he has his spell to get away from me which i don't know oh wait there's a cannon there so you want to get the cannon when when they die you want to get in the lane and just steal them not steal the cannon, but just take the, the, the orbs in them. You don't want to kill the, the cannon, because that would that will tilt your teammate. Not a good strategy to win games. 
But yeah, you see there's a cannon that's gonna die. You can stay near. So it, it triggers. Okay, there you go. And then pick it up, and that's four stacks for free. I think I'll gank mid. Hold on. Yeah, there's not much to do anywhere. anywhere. Um, I got my golems. I think his ward might be... He has heal. I'm not going to flash on him. That was a bad spear. Um, I think we'll just have to go out now. I don't have any mana anymore. There you go. I actually forced his heal with that play. Oh, that's kind of funny. That was interesting. So he he got really scared and just healed. Okay. We can put some pressure bot. Uh, sure, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. There we go. Nice. Good play. Just come up there and get a kill. And then I'm out. Like the kitty cat that I am. And then we're going to go back here. 60 mana. There we go. We have enough for the uh, support item. So we're going to purchase that right now. We're going to purchase the Frostfang. It's the name of it. Again, you guys saw that in my previous video. Frostfang is now the new main item on Italy. Well, not really. It's just an item you get early. Free AP, free gold generation. It'll pay for itself in a few minutes. So this, we're going to get our jungle item. And now the only problem is I don't have boots. So I'm going to be extremely slow for the next few minutes until I get my boots. But it's kind of a sacrifice you got to make. Um, so we're not going to be, uh, we're not really going to be benefiting a lot from celerity. Um, which again gives you AP from the movement speed bonuses that you have. We're not going to be using that much because we don't have any boots. But it'll eventually work out. And it works well with uh, with Lich Bane, that celerity thing, because Lich Bane gives you bonus movement speed. We're going to be defending mid lane. I don't, I don't want to take too much damage from that guy. Ugh! I fucking hate that kid. Azir is really strong. It's a really annoying champion to play against. Yeah, so we can see on the map now that Morgana definitely started at her red because her blue is going to spawn when my red's going to spawn. And she stops like, does she have a red? Yeah, she has a red already. Okay. I was going to go steal that if she didn't have it. I, mean, I got a bit low here. Uh, We're going to gank bot. Wait, Zed has level 6 already? What the hell? Hey, what the fuck? How is that? How is Zed level 6? That's so weird. I'm level 6 and he's level 6. That is really, really interesting. I think because he got the lane to himself for a little while because Jin died. I don't know. Oh my god. He has stopwatch. Damn it. They got it. Nice. Oh god, that was like really, really bad. They got it. They got it. Nice. Good job, mate. Okay, I'm guessing Morgana maybe counter jungled a bit. Uh, maybe she stole my red. I don't know. It's Morgana, so I'm not really expecting much from her. It's the big problem with Morgana jungle is I, I even tried it before, but the problem is like you have no mobility. If you get counter jungled, you're in real big trouble. It's so hard to do anything. Oh my god, that actually hit me? What the fuck? Wait, no! That hit me as well! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, what the hell? Are you serious? Oh my god! Everybody has a fucking stopwatch! 
That's really annoying. Oh, God. Please. Oh, that's really stupid. These fucking stopwatches are so annoying. I mean, I'm, I haven't gotten used to them yet. <gasps> She's low. You can kill her. You can kill her. You can kill her. No ult. No ult. No ult. Okay, heal. Yeah, yeah. She has no... She has nothing. Oh, wait. No, he played that so bad. What the hell? He uses all after... Oh, my God. <laughs> the Cassidy is not a Cassidy, uh Mid player. God damn it. These guys are not very good. Low diamond is uh not the easiest elo to carry. I actually get either like really really fed or oh wait he just uses Q. You're dead. I think you're also dead. Man, these guys, these guys are pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, these guys are <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a funny game when I saw Zed, Zed support and Morgana jungle. It's not easy, I mean, we're not, we're not dominating. I can't really go top, he's gonna kill me actually. I have to purchase my jungle item ASAP. I have enough gold for it, I think I'll just go buy it now. No, I can't defend that. Oh, I think they just lane swap. Okay. Oh, he might try to turn on me. You can keep chasing, actually. That does a lot of damage. Oh, they're gonna do it. It's not. Oh god. Wait, no! No! The entire team stopped! Wait, we got him. We actually got him. We actually got them all. I think we killed them all. Kill this guy first! Yes! No! Kill them all! Yes! 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 Baby, come on, Jinx! Get them all! You got it. Come on, come on, come on. She has her ult. She has her ult. One more damage. And ult. Pew! Bye-bye. You got it. Nice. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> what a clown fiesta. This is an incredible game. Okay, we're going to get Blasting One. And we have to go farm a little bit now because I am falling behind just a bit. I mean, I'm getting out farmed by a Morgana jungle, which is, which is interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting, but... I mean, I've been playing. I've been playing around bot lane a lot and just kind of ganking and putting pressure. I have a lot of assists, so I haven't been getting the kills, but I've been present in a lot of the kills on my team. I've been present in seven of the thirteen kills, so that's a little bit more than half. Usually, I have a better kill participation than that. Some games, I usually aim for about eighty percent kill participation. But okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Eighty, eighty farm. Not too bad. Or eighty stacks is what I meant. We definitely want more than that. That's not a lot, honestly. You probably want closer to 100 or something around this. Oh, she's here. There's a stack there. We're going to pick it up. <gasps> oh, he knows. They have a ward here. Oh, shit. Bitch, come here. Easy. Big plays. Oh, wait. Is he full HP? I didn't see. Our Jinx is super fed from that play, so... I think she can fight him alone. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Come here, motherfucker. You're dead. There we go. Nice. 
We're going to start doing some big damage now. Some big plays. We got 105 stacks, 106. All right, we're getting there. I said, I said in my last video, 150 by 20 minutes is good. And that's usually what you're aiming for. It's hard. I mean, I'll be honest, 150 at 20 minutes is like a really good game, but it kind of, kind of really is the aiming point though. Oh, so he just uses alt, doesn't have it. Oh, Morgana, stop. Morgana, stop. Oh, baby. Motherfucker, does she have blue? She does. Oh, she does have blue. We're going. Oh, my God, Freddy. Freddy, what are you doing? We're going in hard. We're going in hard, baby. We are doing it. Oh, yes, we're doing it. Look at this. Okay, never mind. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look yet. Don't look yet. Now look. Now look at this. Now look at this. Look at that. Nice plays. Okay. We are definitely not the farmed one on our team, but you know what? I don't mind getting carried. I still get my LP at the end of the game. So. Oh god, no. no stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop doing damage to me. Let's see if our wolves are up. They're not up. Oh god. Oh god. No, no, we can't fight them. <gasps> oh god, they're doing it. Yes. Let me get the let me get those six stacks right here. Oh, we can actually maybe get this start. There's two minions there. Oh, yes. Oh, God. I'm coming in. Coming in hot. Coming in hot, baby! Give me those six stacks. Oh, okay. Oh, I got the assist, but I didn't get the stacks on the kill, though. That's good. All right. I'm down for that. I'm down for that for sure. Our Jinx is mega fed. Holy shit. All right. So we got our we got our Lich Bane. We're going we're gonna to get this here, Sorcerer's Boots. Uh, how much is that? I think it's 1,300. Yeah, 1,300. We can't finish it. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't want to sell my boots. That's not what I wanted to do. That. And we're going to get... I think we're just going to have enough for um, an Emp Dome. So we're just going to get an Emp Dome. That's it. That's it, boys. Pretty decent game. I mean, this is a funny one so far. Honestly, the Zed support isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. The only problem is he's stealing all the he's stealing all the CS from his uh, from his uh, AD carry. So I think his AD carry is probably really mad. But he's doing decent. But the problem is um, there's a reason why um, allocating resources to an AD carry and, and not sharing is, is way better in League of Legends because. Um, Sharing means that like an individual like Jinx, for example, can just out kill can actually kill both of them at the same time. If they're both like decently fed and not one of them is actually strong enough to, to fight her on her own. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage right there, baby. Did you see those stacks? The Dark Harvest hit was good. Okay, we're not just yet at 150, but we're close from that. Oh god, this is here. It's putting pressure on me. We got your ult. Can we do it? Come here, baby. There we go. There's another one. There's another stack there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes. Come here. Oh god, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait, he's gonna die. Wait, he's gonna die. Oh my god, he's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Holy shit. Oh, they're going to see me do this. They're going to see me do this. I walked over a ward. I walked over a ward. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I'm out. Oh, this game is this game is is some is an instant classic. Instant classic in my book. Okay, Zed I think is bot side, but I'm not sure whether he went for a blitz top. We're going to pick up the blue buff. And then we're going to be heading towards our Jinx so that she doesn't get killed. I think she's fine, though. I mean, she can probably... Oh, there's this guy. Come on, baby. He's going to turn on me. He's a Zed player. He's going to try it. He's going to give it a shot. Come on, Zed. Try it. Try to kill me. There you go. Bye-bye. You're gone. This is the power of the Dark Harvest, baby. You're just dead in two seconds. Here we go. All right, Jin. Your turn. Where you at? 
Where are you at, Jin? I got 177 stacks. 76. We're looking for we're looking for more stacks. Oh, there's Morgana. That's six stacks right there. Gimme that. Gimme that. Bye bye. That's another six stacks. Oh Jesus. Ugh. Oh wait, that's another six stacks right there. Come here! Six stacks! Yes! Got it. Oh my god, I do so much damage. Uh, I think there are blues up. Let's try to pick it up. Uh, I'll let it. I'll, I'll let my cast in and have it. Okay, there you. Oh no! Okay, hold on, hold on. Six stacks. There we go. Oh my god, the auto at two hundred stacks now. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. I do so much damage. Holy shit. So my autos, we can do the math together, uh, how much damage it does. Let's do it while I recalled. Okay, so it does 200 and, okay, hold on, hold on. It does 200, so, so that's 300 damage, right? 300 damage per auto attack plus Lich Bane, which does 183 bonus damage. So we got about a 500 damage auto attack right there. Magic damage, of course, which means that, you know, if they got MR, it'll block. But that, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. 183. Oh, now it's 239. 239 now. Plus. Plus 300. That's almost 500 damage now. That's really good. Okay, let's go get like let's go get some more stacks, shall we? I think this is pretty fun. I really enjoy this playstyle. It's super cool. I just love it. It's such an interesting playstyle to play with uh, with Dark Harvest. It just makes you want to go for them kills. And you can, because you do a shit ton of damage. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, bonsoir. Bye-bye, you're dead. Okay, there's one. Let's get, let's get a reset here. Let's get two. Let's get a third one right here. Let's get, let's get a fourth one. Oh, I had it. I had it. Look at all, all those stacks. Almost, almost a quadra kill. This is exactly what I was explaining. The reason why I think Dark Harvest is so good on Italy is the reset mechanic. It just gives you that power to go in a fight and really just go after one person, go after the second, and then just keep going until everyone's dead. And then, you know, it just gives you that extra bit of damage. So good. That game just snowballed out of control. Yeah, it's about 320 damage that I do. Plus the, uh, yeah, 300, yeah, there you go. And that's a normal auto attack. Imagine if I use my, if I use my Q, my Cougar form Q. Okay, let me go. Oh no, oh no. Give me a stack here, baby. Give me a stack. Zonyas, maybe we can make it happen. Oh, if I had my Q there, I might have actually killed them. Oh well, they're dead. They're all dead. Wait, I have 15 kills. I actually popped off so hard in this game after like. Oh my god, after we started doing decent. It's pretty crazy. I was like 4 and 3. And then I just went like fucking boom, ham. And just started picking up kills left and right. That's the thing like with Dark Harvest that I realized is that. the You know, Nidalee is already a pretty snowball-y champion. And then when you, you use that mastery. It just makes the snowballing like a, a hundred times bigger. And just a hundred times better. Because as soon as you start getting those stacks after getting kills. It feels like Magi stacks, right? You just... Every time you get more kills, your next auto and your next fight, you're going to be doing more damage. Um, and that's sort of the reason why I feel like this mastery is just so good for any sort of aggressive Nidalee playstyle that you're trying to get a bunch of kills in a game. Man, this... Oh, God, that was a good Azir ult. Our Jinx finally died. They killed the raid boss. But you know what? The second raid boss coming up, baby. You're in room number two. No, never mind. We're going to end the game here. This is over. GG, well played, my my dudes. That was a great game. Love this one. I think this is one of the best videos I've had to prove how strong Dark Harvest really is because it was showcased, at least in that last fight where I got a triple kill, almost a quadra. You could see the resets that you get out of it, and the next auto does, boom, more damage, boom, more damage, and it's just, it's just really strong. We're going to give that to Jinx. She played that pretty damn well. Um, and we can go ahead and look at the damage starts here. I probably did the most in the game. Maybe Jinx did close to me. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So 26, uh, almost 27,000 damage in a 23-minute game. And uh, yeah, that really out. Like Azir did 
11,000 damage less than me. And that's like a champion that's supposed to be doing massive amounts of damage. GG well played. That was good. It was a great game. Yeah, love that one. Yeah, good. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game as well. Um, that was a pleasure to play, and uh, hopefully it was a pleasure to watch. I will see you soon for more videos for Season 8. Again, I'm just trying to showcase the power of this specific build that I'm playing and maybe give you guys a few inside tips so that you can uh, abuse it as well for the beginning of the season if you're a, a nidly enthusiast like myself. And again, I'll see you soon.